Welcome to Infinite Learnopedia channel. Different types of questions can be created using Google Forms. For example, fill in the blanks, true or false, match the following, objective type questions, long answer type questions. Links of all this video is given in the description box. Check out the videos. In this video, I will share with you how to create fill in the blanks using images. Let's get started. Sign in into your Gmail account, open Google Drive, use Google Apps option to open Drive. In the Drive, right click on My Drive in Google Forms, open Blank Form. Name your form, double click the left top corner. You can give description or else description option is optional. Write your subject name, write class, write school name. In a similar way, you can write division also. If you want to add more information, you can add using spaces. Click on customize theme, apply one color. Let's start to design fill in the blanks using images. Click on Untitled Question. Here by default, one question is available. Type the first question. To add image, click on this icon to insert. Now, for this question, I don't have image in my device. So I will search directly from the search engine. Click on Google image search. Type the image you want. For example, I want image of frog. Select the image you want. Click on insert. The image is inserted. Here the image is too big. Using the arrows, Adjust the image. Click on the image to adjust the image size. You can increase and decrease the size. Click outside the image. Here you will find three vertical dots. Using this, here three alignment options are available. Left, center, right. Give alignment. You can change the picture and remove the picture, add a caption, that is, you can add title to the picture. Next, let's add options. Choose multiple choice. Click on option 1. Click on add option to add more. To assign answer key, click on settings. The third option quizzes. The most important option, make this a quiz. Select this option. Click on save. The answer key is visible. Click on answer key. Select the correct answer. You can select points. Click on done. In this way, fill in the blanks can be created using pictures. Let's create second one. Click on plus sign to add second question. Type the second question. Click on this icon to insert. Using upload option, image can be inserted from the device. Here I'm using Google image search. I will directly search image in the search engine and add the image. Select the image, click on insert. Similar way, resize the image. Apply alignment, choose option, multiple choice. Click on option. Click on add option to add more. 
क्लिक ऑन आंसर की Coins and finally click on Done. Select Required. Using Delete option, you can delete the question. Using Duplicate option, you can make a copy of the question. Now, in the same way, I will create two more questions. In a similar way, I have created two more questions. Select test, click on plus sign. Type enter your roll number. Select short answer. Select required. Again click on plus sign. Type enter your name. Select short answer, select required. Let's apply some basic settings. Click on settings. In general, if you want, you can check email addresses. Let's see how it works. Click on save. One email address option will appear. You can uncheck this if you don't want. Click on limit to one response. If you want, you can check and uncheck this. In general, we'll uncheck all these options. In presentation, show link to submit another response. You can select and unselect this. Next is quizzes. Compulsory select make this a quiz. Select immediately after each submission. Marks will be automatically released to the students. This is after manual review. Using this option, you can check manually after the test. Check all these options so that students can view missed questions, correct answers, and point values for the questions. Click on Save option to apply the changes. So here, you can apply theme option and settings. Now, the test is designed. In the header, you can see the title of the test, school name, Subject, class, in this way you can add more options using space. You can also type division here to get the student information. I have used enter your roll number option and enter your name. Click on enter your name. Click on add section. Add one section and give title to the section. Fill in the blanks. In this section, four questions. Are designed. Let's preview the test. This is the first page of the test. This is the title, school name, subject, and class. Your student will enter the roll number, name. Next option. This is the second section of the test. Fill in the blanks. Question. The first question, the frog can. Over here, I will select the answer. In this way, students will answer the question. Final is to submit. After submission, your response has been recorded and see students can view the score. So the total points of the test, name of the test, school name, subject and class, student details and all the questions can be seen. The correct questions and the wrong question can be seen. Back in the form, through the responses option, teacher can view the response of the test. Responses can be seen individually also.
you can also create spreadsheet of the test use this spreadsheet icon a new spreadsheet can be created click create here you can see a new spreadsheet of the mark list is created time score roll number name questions right answers the first field timestamp date and time can be seen in this way you can create tests 